is down everybody it is your main course little pancake and welcome back to another video today we are doing a another installment of tier list thursday now i know what you're thinking i thought it was tier list tuesday well it's not anymore tier list thursday i think is what i'm gonna be doing dessert tier list today okay so we've got a, a decent array of desserts here as you can see first one i think is just like a just a typical sugar cookie i'm pretty sure um it's a cookie of some court some sort it looks like and i don't see any other cookie other than chocolate cake, so. now i'm not a huge sugar cookie man um you know i don't i don't dislike them i wouldn't say but i don't really love sugar cookies Okay, I'd probably put a sugar cookie at like a C tier. You know, it's okay, but uh, just just straight up, I'm I'm not a huge fan of sugar cookies. Like I I know you put like icing on them and whatnot, and that makes them better. But like, let me know what you can do to a sugar cookie to make it better. It's not like you can dip it in milk or anything, is it? All right, next up we got the uh, the pink donut with sprinkles. This is the uh, the Homer Simpson donut. I I. I this is the only donut on the list, so I'm just gonna group all donuts into this. Now, a, a, just a typical donut, you know, it's probably like a like a B tier. I like donuts, you know, just a typical donut. Now, if you drive by a Krispy Kreme and see the hot sign on, that big red light into into the little slice of heaven that we have on this earth, you have to stop and get a dozen. They are just. That they're they're that good. They, they they leave me speechless. Um, so I'm gonna give donuts an A tier because of that. Not every donut is a hot Krispy Kreme glazed donut, okay? But there are a lot of good donuts out there. You know, the one my favorite donut, other than the hot, you know, is like. It's a, uh, it's filled with like a white cream. That's like, it's really sweet. It's really sweet. Like if you don't like sweet things, you wouldn't like it, but it's filled with like a white cream. And that, that is probably an S tier as well. But overarching, all donuts, A tier. And next up we've got fruit. I like fruit. Fruit is very good. I don't know about fruit for dessert though. You know, my mom tried to pull this on me a few times. She's like, well, I, I got dessert for you, and here's a pear. And I'm like, thanks, but isn't that part of dinner? Is that part of a meal, you know? I think just out of principle of liking fruit, I'm going to have to give it a probably a C tier with the, with the sugar cookie. Um, I really like fruit. Like, out of respect for that, it's a C tier. But it shouldn't even be on this list. All right, next up we've got apple pie. Now, a good apple pie is is pretty good, but very, very rare. Okay, a good apple pie is rare. You know, when you get the right amount of sugar, the right crispness of the apple. I like my apples in an apple pie crisp. All right, I don't like it to be all mushy gushy. I like them to you know like crunch when you bite into them. Same way I like my fried apples. You know, a little crunch. You know. Apple pie is probably a probably a B tier, I'd say. You know, a good apple pie could be an A tier, but I'd say the majority of apple pies are solid B tier. All right, next up, I think this is just like just pudding. I think this is just supposed to be vanilla pudding, which vanilla pudding is pretty lackluster. But we'll we'll wrap all the puddings up into it. Pudding is okay. I don't love pudding. I used to like it quite a bit when I was little. I feel like it's a very little kid thing to eat. And for a dessert, I'm not too sure if I'd really like pudding as like a full-on dessert. I feel like pudding's more of a snack. I'm gonna give pudding D tier. I just don't, I don't love just regular old pudding. And next up, this might, I think this is, oh, I think this is vanilla pudding. I'm not sure. I'm not positive. I see, uh... What, did I say vanilla? I meant banana. I think this is banana pudding. You see the Nella wafers sticking out of it. 
and that's usually in banana pudding. I do, I do indulge in banana pudding every now and then. I, I would say I'm a fan. I wouldn't say I'm their biggest fan, but I would say I definitely would attend some games if they live nearby. I'm gonna give banana pudding a, a an A tier. All right, next up we have cinnamon buns. Now, this is also kind of wishy-washy on the whole dessert thing. I think of it more as a like a, a breakfast or a snack. Somewhat nostalgic for me. Uh, used to have cinnamon buns for breakfast like once a week. My mom would make cinnamon buns. That was like the best day of the week. You know, a good, a good cinnamon bun. Uh, an average cinnamon bun is still pretty good. I think I'm gonna give the cinnamon bun an A tier, right up there with the donut. I feel like it it highly relates to the donut in the way that it's it can be. S tier. All right, next up we have strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream is a little bit underrated. A lot of people go for vanilla or chocolate. Honestly though, strawberry might be better than both of those. Like strawberry ice creams really good like f like homemade strawberry ice cream i don't know if y'all have ever had homemade ice cream but like once every like few years my mom randomly wants to make ice cream so she does and it is like strawberry ice cream that's like fresh it's good it's 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 good all right i would give strawberry ice cream honestly probably a solid Honestly, you know what? I'm going S tier with strawberry ice cream. I, I really like strawberry ice cream. Everybody goes for vanilla and chocolate. Well, strawberry is in that Neapolitan for a reason. Next up, we have Jello. Now, I I, I like Jello. I feel like Jello is a very fun thing to make and eat. You know, you can pretty much make it in any shape that you want. You know, something like that, just in like a bunt pan. You can make it into eggs. That's what we used to do. We would, we, my mom had, we had these little egg molds. So we'd make jello eggs for Easter. And those things hit the spot every time. As long as you don't think about what it's made of. Because if you think about what jello is made of and how they make gelatin, your appetite will, per se, exit. If you don't know what's in gelatin, don't look it up. You're better. Ignorance is bliss in this scenario. I'm gonna put gelatin A tier though. I mean, Jello is just, I, I, I like Jello. Okay, I really like Jello. And next up we have brownies. Brownies, in my opinion, somewhat overrated. I'm not a huge brownie man. You know, brownies are good, don't get me wrong. And a good brownie can be very good, but I feel like a lot of times people put like too much chocolate. They're like, all right, what can make a brownie better? More chocolate. Oh yeah. That's not the case. That's not always the case. So I'm gonna put brownies B tier. I feel like they can be good, of course, but you know, they're not that lovely, lovely. All right, next up we have key lime pie. Pretty sure is what this is. I'm a fan of key lime pie, not a huge fan. And I don't, I don't love key lime pie, you know? I'll eat it if it's there, but if I have a choice of pies, well, key lime might be what I pick, depending on the array. I'd, I'd say key lime is probably a B tier. All right, next up we have just a straight vanilla ice cream. Now, I'm a fan of pretty much all ice cream, right? I can't get behind like pistachio, but I'm a fan of most ice creams. I would say that a vanilla ice cream is probably like a solid A tier. All right, next up we've got chocolate cake. Chocolate cake's pretty good, you know? Uh, good cake, pretty underrated. All right? Good cake can be really good. I'd say chocolate's one of my favorite flavors of just straight, like, just chocolate cake, just vanilla cake. I would give it an A tier. I like chocolate cake, all right? And next up, we've got chocolate ice cream. I really like chocolate ice cream, too. Like I said, ice cream in pretty much every form, I'm a fan of. I like cold treats. I'm probably gonna put chocolate ice cream same place I'm putting vanilla in the A tier. I feel like it belongs up there. I feel like strawberry is better than chocolate and vanilla, honestly. All right, next up we have chocolate chip cookie. Now, good chocolate chip cookies, man. Like, like even just like Nestle Toll House, right? Right after you get those out the oven, they just melt in your mouth. Whoop. They're good. They're... They're good. 
they have very good qualities. I'd put chocolate chip, I'd probably put it B tier. Nah, I'd, I'd put it A tier, I'd put it A tier. I like, I freaking like dessert, guys. I, I like dessert, I like sweetness. All right, and finally we have, looks like red velvet cake. I actually don't really like red velvet cake that much. It's not, in my opinion, it's, it's not necessary. In my opinion, red velvet cake just, it's not needed. I don't think. Like, I feel like red velvet cake is just a waste of space on the cake spectrum. I just don't feel the necessity of it. It doesn't taste that much different from, to me, from other, like, vanilla cake. I feel like it's taken up a spot where a much more promising cake could shine. And I, I resent it for that. That, that put F tier. That's why I'm putting it F tier. Quick thanks to that guy made this tier list. Just want to shout them out real quick. All right, take one final look, take a picture, take a screenshot, show it to your mom, be like, hey mom, check it out. That's pretty much it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. I mean, who wouldn't have enjoyed this video? Honestly, leave a comment down below what your favorite dessert is, you know, and you can You can leave an array of comments if you really need to, you know, your favorite ice cream, your favorite pie, your favorite cake, your favorite donut Anything goes All right, well not anything, but most things go anything dessert related goes and that's about it ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day And I'll see all of y'all Later